Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Tower of God Season 2 Episode 7 Reaction. So, the previous episode we got to know more about Viole or Bums. Um, not past I would say but the what happened to him after we left off in Season 1. From there to now, what happened we got to know in the previous episode. So basically he was, I guess you could say, forced to become one of the um, FUG members. Because that one guy, that, that test taker guy in season one, I've, I've forgotten his name, he literally threatened him and he was like, oh, if you don't do this, then your friends will, I will take care of your friends. And, uh, you know, because of that, he has to become a member of the fuck. And he, you know, had to do all of these things and he's continuing to do these things. Um, also, um, that was told to, um, what's his name, um, Wagner by Hwarum, you know that girl and she also gave him a few other information about what's going on so Wagnan has a better understanding of Viole now and he appreciates him more you know as a person as a friend I guess um yeah so also we got to see the second test which is going inside this thing I forgot the name but what they called it and getting a flower but inside that thing there is a person um his name is Mazino I think and uh, he is a threat and the 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 tower the people the the higher ups they send a uh, rank us to take care of him they weren't able to do it now they're like letting uh, the test takers the participants go in and do the job for them basically um and uh, something like that and obviously viola cannot lose because you know he, he literally like you know like his friends life would be in danger so viola is like let's do it um, I will, you know, take care of this. So yeah, that's basically what happened. Also, another thing, someone let me know in the comments. Apparently, Majino is inspired by Eminem, and I was like, wait, really? Like, you know, I'm very curious. I'm gonna look. We didn't really see his face properly in the previous episode. I'll be keeping extra, like, you know, like paying extra attention to him today because, like, that is crazy. That, <laughs> like, Eminem, really? Like, okay, I'm, I'm very curious. Let's see. Um, Alright, so let us begin. I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference and let's begin. Okay, here's the countdown. 3, 2, 1, go. Damn, this song. Is he? I guess, kind of, you know. I guess he does kind of resemble him a bit. Okay. All right. Okay. Hmm. Right. Enter from the other side. Okay. Ah. Okay. <laughs> right. Fuck, <laughs> baby. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Oh, outside. Interesting. Yeah, because he doesn't care. He's he has to do all of this because
<laughs> Alright, here we go. Okay. Oh. All right. Okay. Right. Oh, uh, wow. He okay. Oh god, he's so big. <laughs> All right. Well, I think no, nothing happened, bro. Right. Oh my god! Hey! Oh no! Oh my god! Oh... Wait, so that... How do we help? So, does it have like some kind of healing ability or something? The flower? This thing's being born. Wait, so there were... The strongest man. Urek Mazino. Okay, who is he? Like, like he's obviously he's strong. He's probably one of the top rankers. <laughs> They're all waiting. Yeah, I don't think they're surviving. These guys are surviving either. Huh, right. Bro. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> That's what he was saying. <laughs> oh my god, I... Yeah, okay, so what's up with this thing? It's good. You've been hiding the fact that they... But they've been picking them. Wait, what? Oh. Hmm. Yeah, he's basically like, if we want to take it, take it. Come on. Yuri, Zahar? Wait, oh, he got him. Yeah, I was wondering where that damn. He's like, interesting, that's an interesting baby. <laughs> baby Slayer. <laughs> that sounds so wrong. Baby Slayer, what? Mm. Yeah, what do you think? He, he literally said he's going to... I want the truth. And that, okay. Well, he protected. Oh, this thing, this game, this thing healed him. What is this? The four as well, if you remember. It's episode one. Or was it two? Loses trust. Yeah, now the whole. Oh my god. <clears throat> oh lord. Oh, okay. From moment I thought that was him. Okay. The voice. Uh. Mm. Like he wants the best for him, that's why he's... Oh. Yeah. Hmm. Bra. Hmm. 
Oh god, the Damn. Yeah, he's like, we're not strong enough. <laughs> Damn. They're like, yeah, you need to. <laughs> Okay. Super hyper. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and they'll have to re like do all if they're, they're trying to climb the tower. Eventually, they'll have to do stuff like this. Oh. This shame is putting out bountings for Zelina's children. Oh. Them. Oh, is that her cooking now? Because Huyarin said that? Oh, he... <laughs> yeah, Yo, she's pissed. What are you doing? I'll become a cook. Yeah, and what are you doing now? Okay, stop it. No, you, you stick to your own cooking. You don't have to feed us. <laughs> She's crying. <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh lord. <laughs> Be Oh, he has his answer. There you go. Yeah, the cigarettes. <laughs> right. It might be burnt. <laughs> oh no, what's going on now? Karaka. Oh yeah, this person is taking, keeping an eye on them. Master. Oh. 
administrator yeah and it's burnt so you know higher Hmm. Yeah, they're talking about VLA, obviously. What up in your emotions? Oh. Hmm. I feel like he's Oh. <laughs> He's, he's like, yeah, I don't trust you fully. Yeah, I also think he's... Yeah, you... No. Oh, great. Hmm. You ate that. Oh, okay, I was like, <laughs> he could. Why is she wearing a nurse outfit? Okay. Okay. Mm. Oh, so he's going to ask for her help. Hmm. Yeah, that is true. Red light district, friends. Hmm. Okay. Every floor. Hmm. Oh. Battle for items. Like an auction? Fabulous company. Oh, okay, like more like a tournament. Hmm. Yeah, so 30th floor. They're currently in, I think. I see. Oh. Oh. Okay, so that's what's happening. Okay, you know what? I need to go back to that whole um Ziggana's children that part. I I I think I understand what's going on. But I need to properly understand, like, it, it happened so quickly that I wasn't able to pay attention while reacting.
Hmm. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> right. And that was today's episode. Um, right. So today we had the battle against... I wouldn't call it a battle because it was more of a, like, you know, like, one-time confrontation between Mazino and uh, Jouet Viole. And, uh, you know, since Misen came in the way, they had to, um, our, our Viole had to protect her. So he got injured. <laughs> and this is where something gets revealed. Okay, here's the thing. I need to understand this part. So basically, those little piggy looking things, they are the Zygnia's children. So, wait a minute. So, when Mazino comes out, you can see the test take, you know, that, that guy, you know, the test takers, they were already ready. And they're trying to stop him from going out. They try to attack him, but obviously he's too damn strong. Um, so, wait a minute. Okay, so he says, he grabs him. Okay, do you know what this is? You know, he's like having the, the thing. Um, it's Zygana's kid. It's my first time seeing one too. You know why, don't you? Because you've been hiding the fact that the kids get their nutrients from the flowers. So they've been picking them. Wait, so... There are guys who don't want the flowers to lose their value. Like some powerful people on the 21st floor. Yeah, because you know, it's so rare and everything. That's why if it increases, then um, their value will drop. Yeah, that makes sense. There you go. The, the whole ocean will be filled with Zygana's flowers and the flowers will lose their value. They won't lose their beauty, of course. Right, so wait, I don't understand. So, like, yeah, I can understand what they're doing, but, like, wait a minute. Um, okay, is he gonna skid? You've been hiding the fact that the Kids get the nutrients from the flower. Oh, wait. No, I don't understand the connection. Like, so yeah, the, the kids, their nutrient, main source of nutrients is the flowers. So that is why they've been picking them. That's what Mazino says here. What's the connection? Where's the connection of that with the fact that Kind of confused here like like this part i like i can understand the basic thing i can understand that they were trying to like you know keep this whole thing a secret because otherwise the ziganas pri like you know the the rarity the whole you know like thing will drop and they didn't want that to happen and you know that's why they are like like lying and everything and later on we get to see um yon as well has uh, shut herself in her room because of the scandal with her family the you know okay here we go okay yeah so Yarun comes in and says you seem rather down even after your family scandal broke they have been shamelessly putting out bounties for Zegana's children right after witnessing your family uh, Right, so yeah, I can understand. They're using the Zig they're trying to like you know like keep the Ziganas children a secret because of the um Oh I think I understand. Oh I see I see what's happening. 
correct me if I'm wrong. So as you can see, the, the, the little children, they have the flower on top of their back. So as Mazino says, the flowers are the main source of nutrition for the children. So that means the children are always attached to the flowers. And you can see that the flower that they were trying to take, where is that part? Um, in the beginning, you know, where you can see, um, like, Misen comes in the way of Mazino and uh, Viola's battle, trying to get that ch child. You know, Viola saves him, her. And next thing you can see, the Zigana's child, it's in front of, okay, where is that part? It's in front of another flower on the ground. So I'm assuming like the flowers, when they fully like, you know, it, it, that's the children. So the flowers like, you know, like they're actually like, I'm assuming they'll come up from the ground or something. I don't know. And, and it'll be a child attached to it. And you know, like, they actively make sure that the children are hidden from the world because they want the the rarity of the flower like kind of, they want the flower to be rare they doesn't they don't want it to be like because if they know that oh that's basically the flower is like a like you know, the, the children of the ziggurat children then as they say as, as he as he said then it will be like a common thing the flower will become a common thing if that happens, the price, the, the, the rarity of it will drop and they don't want that. And that is why they have been lying to everyone and keeping the, um, the Ziggurat flower, the, the, the fact that these things exist as secret. And that is why even after all of this happened, the, the Violet, uh, not Violet, sorry, the Yon family is putting bounties on the children because of that. Is that what's happening? Like, that's why they're trying to keep it a secret because, you know, they want to keep the flower like a rare commodity. Like, they want to keep it like that. I think. I think that's what's going on. I'm not 100% sure. But let me know. Like, it's something like that. Anyways, so that's the whole situation, basically. And uh, now I'm not sure why... Um, Mazino was trying to get her his hands on the Ziganas, like you know, the children and you can see he goes out and he talks to like a butler or something and says that oh like tell Yuri or something like that so he's connected to Yuri like Yuri is you know obviously Yuri Zahad I'm assuming Yuri is that girl isn't it the girl in season one the one who we who gave um, Bam the the black uh, the, the 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 black march I think Yeah, I think so. Wait, it was called Black March, wasn't it? I think so. Right, it's been a while. So I've watched season one, so I've kind of forgotten the names. Um, but yeah, I think that's, that girl is Yuri, I, as far as I can remember. So, interesting. Right. Also, another thing we got to see in today's episode is um, this guy, um, this weird looking guy, looks like a like he's like bandaged or it seems like he's like wearing a bandage or is it like an arm oh it's a mask he, i think he said it's a mask this guy who's keeping an eye and uh, you know like um oh i forgot his name the the one the one guy who who's like who, who taught um viola to fight you know who's like a father figure to him he was he's he's like he came to him and he's like asking him question and he's like oh it seems like you're letting your emotions do the talking you know and he kind of claps back he's like oh what the hell are you talking about you think that the emotions are like i'm working with emotions because if you don't remember i'm the one who abandoned my family because of this thing so you think i am getting like you know moved by emotion you know anyways but he doesn't trust him you can see that's why he himself Separately, like I think, order someone else to keep an eye on them, on on uh, Viola's group, and if something goes wrong, like take care of them. He said something like that. So that's what's going on over there. Like another interesting thing is going on. So from the looks of that scene, what I think is happening is that I think he's correct. Like he is letting emotion 
I guess you could say, dictate his actions. Because if you remember, Warung said this before, that in the previous episode, he said, she said that, oh, he was actually planning to kill you all. You know, but after seeing Viole and you know, after talking to you guys, he decided to let you guys keep you guys alive. You know, so that whole thing. Now, in today's episode as well, you can see he tells um, Wagnan to be, he, he's like, oh, this was what happened. You know, so yeah, you better separate yourself from Viole. And uh, I'll replace him with someone else over here. You guys don't have to worry about that. I'll, we won't hurt you as well. Stuff like that, he says. Now, from the looks of everything else, it seems like this guy is very ruthless. But from what we've seen him interacting with Viole and interacting with Viole's friends, it seems like he probably fancies Viole so much that he is considering, like, you know, like the best, like, scenario and how to do it properly. Like... And that's why, you know, like when he said that you're letting your actions, uh, emotions dictate what you are doing, I think he's not wrong. Because I, I also think that he's, he, he's very fond of Viole. That is probably why he is being this, I guess you could say, lenient with him. You know, because from what I've heard, for like, you know, from what Warun said and from what this guy is saying, he's the type of guy who would literally kill everyone if needed. But he's being still so much considerate with, of, of Viole's group. It's probably because of Viole. Because he, he's probably seeing that, oh, it's the first time that Viole has actually showed proper interest in other people. And these people, these bunch of people also seem like actual good people who can influence Viole in a positive direction. So, you know, something like that he's thinking. And that's why he's trying to be more, more considerate with them. If Viole wasn't connected with them, he'd probably kill them in a heartbeat. Like, it, it, he probably wouldn't bat an eyelid doing that. But because Viole is connected with them, he's, he's not doing it. You know, and he's being very considerate of the whole situation. At least that's what I think is going on. Um, right. <clears throat> yeah, but in the end, Wagner was like, nah, we have our own way to do things. And that's why he was told to brought cigarette, and that's why he didn't buy cigarette. He bought him like a lollipop. He's like, yeah, this is our way. And in the end, he accepted it. The fact that he accepted a lollipop shows that he accepted that as well proposal that, yeah, we have our own way to do it. Um, yeah. Now, that's the whole situation with him. Warun, however, as Wagner talks to her, she, she, like, you know, she calls herself a guide. You know, so that's why Wagner also says that the fact that you consider yourself and talk, you know, like, like, kind of refer to yourself as a guide, which may means that, like, you're going to lead us somewhere, you know, and uh, so tell us where can we find, like, you know, Viola's friends, like, you know, his other group, and which is when she was like, oh, what makes you think I'm going to tell you? At which Wagner says, technically, you did tell me of your situation why do you do that you know there's no need for you to do that since you do did that it makes me think at least you have some expectations of us of me at least and uh, you know that's why i think you will guide me there as well at which one tells him where to go 30th floor in two years i think that's what he she said yeah i think so two years in two years time there in the 30th floor they have like a tournament kind of thing where um kun and everyone else will be there so if you can go there within two years then you can meet them now i don't know exactly which floor they are in but as far as i can remember they're probably in like the 22nd or the 23rd floor or something like that i don't remember properly so in two years they need to go through you know like to the 30th floor and they will be there at that point of time as well now, Wagnan will probably try to do that now. And, uh, you know, something like that, I think. Yeah. So, yeah, that's, that's basically what happened. You know. Let's see. Let's wait and see how this goes. Oh, also, Mazino is very interested in, um, uh, what's his name? Uh, Viole, because Viole apparently was able to scratch him. Uh, and he's like, damn, this is the first time I've seen someone like that. You know, not only was he protecting her, he even tried to attack me. You know, that is impressive. 
which true it is like who knows how this thing would have ended like i doubt vla would have been able to do anything to mazino but who knows how this thing would have went if Miseng didn't come in the way and he didn't have to protect her if he was properly fighting with him maybe again i'm sure he would have been defeated but maybe he would have been able to deal more damage to mazino something like that right so yeah that's what's happening over there now interesting like i'm very curious to see, see the whole thing with mazino because you know like as we saw like he he seems connected with uh, you know yuri and you know uh, probably the other zahad members as well so you know like that kind of thing is going on there yeah so yeah let's just wait and see okay, was there anything else i needed to talk about um oh um yon's uh transformation as well after listening to Huarung's talk about the situation and tell her that yeah you're just going to you know like what are you a spoiled little princess now that this thing is going in this direction your family has been your family has been um the reputation is down you're just going to lay down and cry about it literally doing nothing like you know like you know trying not to overcome it or do something about it at which you know he she kind of gets motivated uh, i love how she kind of brings up the fact that she cannot cook and tells her that oh you're going to give up on this just like you did for your cooking at which she she gets up and she decides to cook again and so everyone now is like literally crying missing started crying actually crying after seeing <laughs> you know it's funny because i've seen a lot of characters like this who you know like in anime especially like makes these type of like these type of ditzy type characters who do like very bad cooking and like his actual like like chemical waste by the end of it you know and you know usually the characters who have to like eat that and everything obviously they're not happy about that they either you know fall down uncautious or they just you know like go to the toilet immediately like bad things happen to them i've never seen any character cry look see like i've never seen any character like cry looking at some other person's food this i think obviously it makes sense she's a kid you know but still like see <laughs> a character actually cry when they see the cooking the state of the cooking that she had made you know that's actually hilarious because missing at that point of time was probably thinking like what the hell will we have to eat this every single day from now <laughs> this this charred coal charcoal <laughs> And that thought probably made her cry. She was like, nah, man. <laughs> that is torture. Like, she actually was crying. <laughs> looking at her cooking. <laughs> that's, that's funny. I've never seen any character cry looking like in, in that type of situation. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's definitely because she's a kid. She probably <laughs> didn't know what else to do. <laughs> but just cry. <laughs> oh, Lord yeah anyways but in the end you know they decide to put her in charge of um viole otherwise she's going to cook and make the other people also go into coma so that that is not okay <laughs> so they're like you you take care of him we'll do the cooking <laughs> right all right and uh, yeah and that's the whole episode yeah also today's episode you can see oh one thing i was kind of thinking about this when they, they were talking about um you know viole being the one uh who can take down the zahas you know that part where that that bandage looking guy i don't know what that masked guy who he was talking to him and he was like finally we found a weapon that can take down the zahas and you're what are you doing why are you dilly dallying you know stuff like that he was saying um that is the time when i was thinking like didn't like in what episode was it weren't they saying something along the lines of you know um during the battle with love the ending scene of that one episode where that guy the, the administrator guy or whatever he was um you know he he like had a phone call and he was like oh yes um like just like you want uh wagnan has you know like pass this test you know at something and it kind of like they kind of hinted that fug wants wagnan to pass and something like that happened you know like over there so 
and now you can see they are talking about viola so i'm very curious as to see what's Wagner's role in this whole thing because I'm sure Wagner also plays a role in this whole situation as well like he is a probably one of the prince you know because he has a ring and everything and today's episode Warung also called him the prince of the the red light district or something like that he she said don't know exactly what that means like you know but I don't know like something like that no, not what, what did she say? Wait a minute, let me go back. He, she said something like that, didn't she? Wait a minute. Um, okay, here we go. Okay, um, Prince of the Red Light, yeah, that's what he she said, Prince of the Red Light District. Okay, hmm. Anyways, so, you know, like, still a few mysteries here and there, you know, like, I'm curious as to see what is Wagner's role in all of this, because he seems like a very important, like, character in the, the whole scheme of things as well. Obviously, Viola is there. Viola's importance is obviously the fuck wants him because he's an irregular and he can take it out of Zahat. But then again, we also, I also, like I said, I remember... Um, them hinting that Wagnan also is going to play like a big role in all of this because they wanted Wagnan to um, pass the test that that thing as well so you know and and here you can see Wadun calls him the prince of the red light district so you know a lot of questions which will probably get answered later yeah <clears throat> and yeah there you go that was today's episode um yeah oh in the end um Viole comes like you know like becomes conscious again or at least opens his eyes so let's wait and see all right and yeah that was today's episode now let me talk about this episode scene by scene in the very first scene you can see um the battle against urek mazino and he is there fight going to he's going to fight against vla so he's like you know it's a simple uh, match we're going to have um Okay. Alright. He says, Zignar's flower is above. When Zignar turns over, will fall onto it, which makes sense. Um, if you can get the flower before I catch you, you can have it. But, if I catch you, your life is mine. So, simple. You know, you get the flower, you win. If I get you before you get the flower, I win. So that's that. So while all of this is going on, uh, over there you can see um, that guy. Um, what's his name? Um, the, de de the devil guy. He's like, like going away from there. And Prince is like, like what? Are we going to leave them alone? And he's like, no, that's not my plan. My plan is that we are going to inform the others. You know, they're on the other side. So we're going to inform the others and give them the location of Viole, so that you know, like we can all can come and help him out. Then we'll all run to him all at once you know so he informs every single person there um you know yon um goseng Arcrafter, wagner everyone who was there he informs them the, of the location and there you go okay so this is where we get to see mazino talking about what he wants he says like oh you guys you guys are going trying to go to the top of the tower this and that that is, that is absolutely ridiculous. Why are you going on the top of the tower? Who cares? I don't care. I don't care about the tower. I want to get out of the tower. And he says, like, you know, he literally says here that uh, he wants that type of freedom. Zahad might seem like a tremendous figure to you, but that doesn't interest me. What's so fun about becoming the king of the tower? You can all have it for all I care. I'm going outside the tower. Outside the tower is an endless sky. In Fanta Eliminated Darkness is billion times freer out there. So there you go. That is his plan. So while he was like giving this like speech, the whole like thing was upturning. So you know the whole battle will begin immediately after that. Anyways, at which Viola says, I also don't care about the thrones or the stars. I just want to get strong enough to 
you know, protect the ones that who would otherwise lose their lives. <clears throat> and he's like, okay, interesting, bold words for a baby. <laughs> Okay, so the battle begins, you know, since the whole thing upturned, he's falling, you know, towards the flower. And uh, then after doing the countdown, Mazin also comes down, trying to attack him. And while all of this is going on, you can see every single other person comes in because they have been given the location. Um, Young comes in, Arcraptor, um, Wagnan, you know, like the devil, Prince, every one of them came here. And they are ready to fight against Mazino because, you know, at the end of the day, Viola just has to get the flower. Then he'll win. It's not that we have to defeat Mazino. So as long as they can stall him. Yeah. But it didn't really work. Because you see, um, the, you know, Prince tries to stop him and then um, the devil uh, tries to attack him. But he literally dodges it and like, like turns it uh, against them. Like he grabbed him like this. He's so small in front of him. Mazino's big. And just whacked him away. And that's it. That was like, know, it for them. Then you can see um, Yon tries to attack her, him, and Arcraptor. Didn't work either. He just like brushes her aside and is like going towards, um, going towards Viole. And he was going to punch him. Viole was also going to punch him. But Miseng comes in the middle while trying to catch the Digena's child. And obviously Mazino wasn't expecting that. I doubt Mazino would have swung his punch if he realized that some kid is going to get randomly involved in this and i doubt he would have done that but it was too late his, his whole momentum is there and he cannot stop himself you know so this is where you can see viola comes and protects me saying um and yeah his whole back is like just like bleeding and everything and mazino stops here mazino stops and mazino is like hmm okay and this is where Mazino looks at the, the flower as well, Zigina's flower and the child. Yeah, so... Right, so he, so he grabs the like, child and he's like, I knew something seemed to be off. Yeah, this is the whole thing with the whole scandal with the, the Zigina's children, the whole situation with that. Um, so anyways, he, he gets it. And then he's like, all right, babies, you know, like, you guys can, you know, whatever. You guys can leave. Like, I don't need the flower anymore. You can take it. Um, now that this thing is born, you know, he has a kid. That's why. Right. And he's like, it's also a reward for surviving the strongest man alive. And he leaves. This is where Wagner is like, what the hell? That's Mazino, Urif Mazino. You know, the tattoo in, her, in his back. Anyway, Wanzino comes out and you can see these like instructors, the test takers, they were all here trying to stop him because, you know, obviously they're the official, I guess you could say, um, people who are, you know, directly employed by the tower, I'm assuming. They are here to take care of um, Mazino. But, you know, Mazino is like, damn, that's kind of unfair. And... <laughs> I love how they were thinking that they're talking about the fact that he was talking about the fact that there's three of them and in the end Mazino's like no 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 that's not what I'm saying what I'm saying is it's unfair that there's only three of you like it's me you're talking about like you at least you should have brought a hundred people you know like then maybe you could have done something probably not but you know at least you could have tried so yeah <laughs> I love that we just said that he was like yeah like I'm, I'm feeling so, like sorry for you guys like damn like you know this is me we are talking about you know you cannot win with this crappy ass team <laughs> right now this is where he says like you know he, he he talks about the fact that they have been hiding this whole like you know the children <clears throat> you've been hiding the fact <clears throat> that the kids get the nutrients from the flowers <clears throat> and have been picking them so yeah okay the the, the wording here is a bit weird that's why i was so confused so he says like the children get the nutrients from the flowers so they have been picking them like i didn't understand what he was trying to mean by this but from the japanese what he's saying as far as i could understand he's saying that you know that the children get the nutrients from the flowers that is why they have been picking them by picking them i think they're talking about the flowers or the children you know the children then they're taking them away so 
outside world knows correct me if i'm wrong outside world knows that this is a very rare flower it's like only one of them or something like that you know but these children have like literally the flowers attached to them because they're like resp like you know, they're they're very much just uh, dependent on the nutrients that they get from it you know so they cannot let the the fact that these children's exist come to light then everyone will be like oh these flowers aren't that uh, rare they're very they're gonna common so that to do that they are keeping the identity of the children a secret and they're keeping it like telling in the outside world that there's only one flower or something like that is very rare something like that is going on and uh, that's why nobody knows even the uh, like you know the fact that these children the Zignas children exist Marzino gets to know that now and that's why Marzino's like you guys are doing this you know so anyways he's like yeah I'm going to take this thing and uh, you know in the future these things will probably be as common as everything else you know it won't be a rare commodity anymore so there you go and that's his like you know plan so he goes away and later on you know when he comes out of the elevator there's like a butler there and he gives it to him and he says let yuri know i got it yeah so yuri hired him to get the flower i do wonder why yeah so anyways so then this is where he gets to know that he has a cut in his face and he's like wait what a cut and then he's like oh damn so he actually did attack me he, it wasn't he was just protecting the girl because he also attacked me and he's like damn you know like that baby is interesting like, keep an eye on him you know like yeah so there you go that's what's going on either way after that you can see there was a small little flashback of um, you know, uh, bum, when he was threatened that, oh, you better do what we tell you, otherwise your friends will die. And this is where when, you know, that guy comes in and he's like, oh, like, you know, like, what do you want? Like, no money, power, women, you know, something like that. And he's like, no, I just want to be strong enough so that I don't have to say goodbye. You know, I can be strong enough to protect them. Um, can I become that strong when I don't have to rely on, you know, Something like that I can rely on myself <clears throat> and then fast forward to the current scene where we get to see he was bleeding out but then again that skeleton thing red skeleton thing comes and like heals him which we still don't know what exactly that is we saw that before and now we're seeing it again <clears throat> and you can see you know that this guy he's like in front of Viola's bed and he's like you idiot like you know, why did you have to go that far um, right so yeah, while all of this is happening, they also tell us that Yeon has shot, shot herself in her room. Because the Yeon family was involved in the covering up the Ziganan's children. That's why, you know, the, their reputation has fallen. All these things are going on. People are not in a good mood. So he goes to the rooftop and the, the guy's like, oh, like, hello. And he tells him that, you know, like, you guys are weak. Like, so I've decided to take him out of your group. So we'll take him out of your group replace him with someone else and everything will be fine we won't kill you we won't do anything like that so you know everything will be okay just just give up trying to travel with him because what he's going to do from here onwards is obviously going to be dangerous and he doesn't need to like you know like get like roped into like emotional stuff that will end up being detrimental to him for example what happened now it's kind of ironic because if you think about it he's talking about these things here and telling how you know like because um uh Wagner and they are not strong enough you know, and, they'll, and and he doesn't want Viola to get up involved in these type of emotional like you know like stuff which will make him weaker he is also kind of doing that if you think about it because later on as we hear his conversation with that masked guy you know it's pretty obvious that he's also like he he cares about VLA at least to the degree that he is ready to make like you know be more lenient on him like you know and it's pretty obvious as well from his the way he you know treats VLA um so yeah so it's it's kind of ironic from him to say something like this where he himself is also kind of like that I guess either way um he says that and he also tells Wagner that also if you guys stick with Viole, 
in the future you guys might have to deal with strong people like this so you know that'll be detrimental to you guys climbing the tower so think about it and he leaves and later on you can see Wagner has talked about this whole situation to our crafter you know prince and that other big guy the devil guy and you know they're talking about this and here you can see prince and our crafter are kind of like squabbling with each other our crafter is like ah you like you know like you lost the lighthouse and he's and he's like I understand, but you know, like I, nothing they could do do about it. Like you know, he's so damn strong. And Prince is like blaming him. He's like, "What did you do? Your power also literally did nothing to him." And our character is like, you know, egging him on. And this whole back and forth is going on. Like you know, they're at each other's throats almost. And Wagner is like, "What the hell, guys? I'm trying to say something here. I'm talking about Viole and the fact that we might need to actually separate from him. And you guys are not even listening to me." At which Prince is like, shut the hell up, I don't care what you say, I'm, I've decided on climbing the tower with him, and I'm going to do that, you know, like, nobody can tell me what to do, and our character is of the same, like, you know, like, same sentiment, you know, like, the devil as well, and you can see Wagner is like, like, yeah, I want to climb the tower with Violet too, however, like, with what happened today, you can see, like, this might happen in the future as well. You know, at which in the end of it this whole like you know the back and forth goes on and in the end the devil guy is like this isn't about Viola this is about us you know, like we want to climb with him you know and that's what we're going to do you know in the end Wagner also you know like makes up his mind because obviously like he said he also wants to climb the tower with Viola but what was making him um, hesitate was the fact that you know like something like this might repeat itself in the future and viola might get injured trying to save someone someone from them again it will be detrimental to him and at the same time like they might also like you know need to fight stronger enemies because of this you know that's why he was kind of thinking about it. but now after like you know thinking about all of this he's like nah you know what they're right we're going to do what you know we we want to do at least in this situation and uh, and another thing i was kind of saying here i was like you guys are trying to climb the tower this is barely the 20th floor or something eventually you will have to like fight against people as strong as viole and as strong as the people we're fighting now you know so that will need to happen in the future if you guys are not even ready to face that you know then how will you be kind of climbing the tower Climbing the tower means getting ready to face every single lord that is brought in front of you. So if you guys give up at this only, you know, then there's no point in climbing the tower in my opinion. Because way worse things than this will happen in the future. I'm pretty sure about it. You know, so if you want to back out, you should you better back out from now. You know, like something like this shouldn't stop you. So in that sense, you know, I feel like it's fine. Like yeah so it's it's basically like you're getting like like they, they'll have to become stronger now for and and the future like you know assignments and stuff that they'll need to face will be a very will be a breeze for them if they're able to get strong as strong as viola now and keep up with him if they do that you know it's basically like you know in video game terms if you think about it it's basically as a level 10 you are going to a separate area which are like you know like reserved for like level 30s and the enemies over there that spawn are all level 30s and you're level 10 you're not supposed to be there but you decided to go there anyways and through pure skill you have to like defeat them and if you're able to do that you'll get strong enough so that the future um enemies that you'll have to face will be a breeze you know something like that in in video games term if you think about it you know um or at least that's how, how i look at this uh, right, and then the whole thing with Yon as well, where Warun comes in and tells her that what the hell are you doing? Like, you know, like you saw this is what's happening to your family and you decided to just like just not do anything about it and just like, you know, like shut yourself in your room. You know, here we go. Has witnessing your family's disgrace made you lose your nerve, princess? And uh, yeah. She says you won't understand and he's, she's like, yeah, I won't understand. But you know what I would do in this situation? I would at least try to come up with a way to correct my family's mistake and act. Not just shut yourself in this room. Here we go. And then she says, I don't care enough to understand the thinking of a spoiled girl who cannot even cook their own meals. 
this triggered her so she decided to cook and she's like burning everything and she's like this is the first step in me becoming a better person cooking you know so <laughs> me saying and go saying they're not happy about this you know me saying is so upset about this she literally starts crying <laughs> yeah and then wagnan and prince all of them comes in and they're like what the hell is this and me saying is like oh my god like yon has decided to become the official cook for this place and she starts crying again <laughs> Anyways, all of this is going on now. After all of this, Wagnan decides to go to you know that guy and tell him, gives him the lollipop instead of the cigarette, and he's like, "This is what I've decided to do. You know, I've decided to go along with what I think and what we think is the best, and uh, this is what I, what we think. We're we're going to climb the tower with him. Yeah, and then he invites him for dinner and then leaves, and you can see he's like, okay, whatever." You know, like I said, he's he's being ex extremely lenient on them just because he probably thinks this is the best for Viola as well. Because you think, you know, you remember that scene in the previous episode where you could see he was genuinely happy that Viola found people that can actually, like, get to know him better and become friends with. I think even to he he also told Viola before in one of the flashbacks, if I remember, he told him that. Um, yeah like i'm sure you'll find people who'll be able to understand you so something like that yeah anyways then this guy comes in what's his name um he calls him master um yeah and he says like you should let me handle this and he's like yeah right um and then he's like the administrator is watching us come on let's go Yeah, and then he's like talking to him and this guy is very suspicious of him. He's like, hmm, like it seems like, you know, like, like he's like, finally, we found a weapon to kill the Zahar. And why are you hesitating now? You know, like we should slaughter the people we is with in instant and form a new team. And he's like, no, leave this thing of Viola to me. Mm, you don't trust me. And he's like, oh, no, but the rumor is that you will you're being caught up in your emotions and will make a mistake at which he's like oh I, I literally left my family for this i'm trying to say i'm going to get like mixed up with emotions at this point um and he's like oh no i'm not saying that like, but people are thinking that's what's going to happen anyways they like he's like okay i'm going to take my leave now you know yeah and then when he's like oh come on have some food with me he's like oh no i don't have food with people who i don't trust enough no, I don't. I want. I want to take out my mask in front of people I don't trust enough. So he goes and then he talks to this another guy who's like, he tells him that oh, keep an eye on them. If they try to do anything, you know, funny, like remove them. Yeah. Anyways, so all of this is going on over there, um, and then we have um, Wagnan talking to Huarung. Huarung tells Wagnan calls him. The prince of the red light district and Warum all, uh, Wagner also says you're supposed to be a guide so can you please guide us you know and otherwise you wouldn't have told me you know like viola situation if you didn't want to guide us in the first place which is when Warum says that you'll have to go to a workshop the workshop where different stuff are made you know from the tower and that workshop is on the 30th floor um so he she says like every i think how many years Every five years, um, like a little E rank Legolas gathered there to battle for items, like a battle happens. So she says, like, the next one is going to happen two years from now. Go there, and you will find Viola's friends over there. So you guys have to get strong enough to reach level 30, low 30, in this limited amount of time, if you can do that. Yeah, and you can see here for a moment. Okay, this is something extremely weird going on. I don't know what the hell is happening here. There was a scene over here where we see Poon is literally standing in front of five empty chairs and, and his mouth is moving. It seems he's talking to someone. What is this scene? 
like i remember the last thing that he was doing is he was you know he was he was um gathering people to be in his team and if you remember he had them sit down in a chair and he was talking to them and telling them like not to trust um you know like not to trust rahel and all that stuff and now we can see he's standing here in front of him is like empty chairs and he's speaking to them oh no he's speaking to them oh my god i'm you know what <laughs> i'm sorry i didn't see the the communicator it was that it, it melded with the background i didn't see the communicator it was floating now he was talking to the communicator i was like why is he talking in an empty room in front of like six empty chairs like five empty chairs i'm like what's happening like <laughs> okay he was talking to the communicator it was there i didn't see it it, it melted with the black background um yeah and then you can see on the other side you know that guy i forgot his name he's talking to him and you can see endorsee and um what was her name anak i think you know the that girl both of them are also there yeah so in 30 uh, in 2 years 30th floor they'll have to reach and at this time you can see um um uh, viole also regains consciousness and that's where it ended so yeah great episode um a lot of questions we have after watching today's episode which i'm assuming will all be revealed little by little and uh, yeah there you go that was it that was my reaction to episode number seven of tower of god season two if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know i'll check them out that is it thank you for watching and i'll see you guys next week with another episode of tower of god until then goodbye and have a nice day